Okay, hey guys, um, welcome to my January forecast. Um, right now what we're looking at is the temperature forecast, and as you can see it's going to be cold um, all the way from parts of uh, eastern Montana all the way down into uh, some of the northern parts of Georgia and, um, and Mississippi, right here, or Alabama, sorry, um, South Carolina, then stretches all the way up into New England. So anywhere from uh, eastern Montana all the way down into Georgia um, and South Carolina is going to be colder than average for most of January. Um, and now what we're seeing right now is this, uh, the, the trough is moving into the west, but for the majority of the time it'll actually be in the east. But um, just on occasion, you know, it can't always be in the east. Um, it, with uh, the kind of situation we're having, where it's going to be very inconsistent, um, so, don't get me wrong, there will be snowstorms in the west and the east, but um, we'll be seeing more in the east than we did last year, whereas there was more in the west. Um, so, yeah, um, the reason uh, that it's so angled right here, um, let's see, now the trough is going to be angled, I like to call it an angled trough, I don't know what other people call it, but it's called an angled trough, uh, as far as I'm concerned. Um, okay, I'm back. Um, sorry. One of my dogs was barking, but, um, see this, uh, trough, it starts out right here and comes all the way, kind of angled. It can um, but the only flaw for the, um, people in the southeast is that when it's angled like this, it doesn't actually push as far down because it would take more cold air, um, than it would for a normal trough. And, uh, this is what a normal trough looks like. You can see the big difference. Yeah. Um. But when it really the preferred is a normal trough. Um, we're just, sadly we're not going to be seeing this this year. I don't know about next year, or whatever. And you know, you can't really guarantee any of that. So, but this is what a normal trough would look like. It goes a little further south, as you can see, um, into uh, really down in the year. But um, here's the precipitation outlook again. Um, you're going to see the storm tracks right after this, and that'll show you anywhere where it's not really colored. It's kind of not going to be um, less or more precipitation, um, but we're going to see less in these areas, um, and we're going to see more in these areas, and you're going to see by the storm tracks right here, um, there's a lot to look at, but um, I'll name one one after the other. Here, first off, I'll start with the nor'easter. Um, all of these nor'easter we're probably going to stay least of, but I'm pretty sure we're going to see a good one or one to three, or maybe even more of them. But, um, because in the wintertime, you know, there's a lot of storms going on all the time. But, as you can see, it dips right in here, starts up in California, not putting any precipitation out until it's in here. Dips down. Gets some sea surface anomaly uh, right here, which basically, if you don't know what that means, it strengthens a lot. It's basically the storm's just turning bigger and bigger and um, causing more precipitation. Same through these regions. And if, like, you're down here, um... In these zones, uh, you're definitely, if it's cold enough, it'll uh, de definitely be snowing uh, because of the sea surface anomaly here in the north northern portions of the southeast. And then, uh, same with here, um, anywhere basically, if it's cold enough in here. I just, coastal Gulf of Mexico is a little bit um, on the less snowy side, if you know what I mean, but um, east coast, you can get some snows. Um, Possibly. There's a lot more chance on the east coast than the gulf, but um, as you can see right here, it strengthens again. So really, if you're anywhere on this, you're still going to get just as much snow, but on the northern portions, you're going to get more than the southern portions, and then you're going to get more even after the um, thing goes. But when you see it um, rip apart like this, that means it can go anywhere in between it. It really just depends if there's like a high pressure system up here, then it would kind of go in. But if there's a high pressure system right here, it'll go out. And, uh, you know, heck, who, who knows what would happen if there was a high pressure system in both. It'd probably just go, whoop, and it wouldn't even be a nor'easter. But um, now here, I believe, this is the Appalachian Runner comes up here. When you see the storms come out of here and they really do the western damage, it's either this or an Alberta Clipper. But, yeah, the dark blue right here we uh, dips down. Um, and usually... Uh, what sucks with these storms for the East Coast is you usually want to be um, 
as you can see right here, you usually want to be on this side of it, on the inner portions, I don't know how to say it, either on the northern portions, and if you're on the east coast, what the heck was that? <laughs> Um, you, you really for the East Coast with the um with these um Appalachian runners, you really want to be uh it's not going to be as much snow until the later portions because then it could move to the coast, um and then you'll see usually on the back of these storms it's really where you, where you'll get the snow here on the southern portions, but you know up here where it's always cold enough, yeah you'll get it because usually there's a cold front down here. And what that will cause to happen is for it to get colder, but if um, you're on this side of the storm, you're going to be on the warmer side. The cold side is over here. You get, um, then we get the Colorado low. Uh, about 20% of the storms will be this. 30% um, or 40% will probably be the um, Appalachian runner, so that's 60%. Uh, then probably around 30% um, will be... Um, the Alberta Clipper, which uh, I haven't even talked to you about, um, it, it kind of comes right here, and it looks like it's going to come down, but it just, like, you know, phew. but, um, yeah, 30% of these, sorry, okay, sorry, that dog was barking, um, but, uh, like I was saying, probably 20% are up, uh, Alberta Clippers, and then, um, Nor'easters, 20%, that sounds about right, um, but, yeah. Colorado lows, there'll be less of them, but they can kind of be in here. Usually if it's in the southern portions, then there's a chance for snow down here. Um, usually these do affect, they're usually very large storms and come through pretty fast. Uh, same with the Clippers. Uh, Clippers more chance because it's kind of dipping down. Colorado lows just come right through. Okay. So now that we've looked at the storm tracks, um, usually the strongest would be the nor'easter. For east coast, you'd want to be the nor'easter because you're on the colder side. Um, of the storm, unless it comes here, then you're on the warmer side if you're right here, but still, I mean, it's, it's New England, it's not going to be on the, you know, it's not, you, you get the point, it's going to be snowing no matter what, but, um, this is where I'm going to spend most of my time here, we're going to work our way east, uh, snowy inland, uh, rainy coastal, so basically coastal, uh, you, you know how it is with the west, since the winds come off the um, Pacific Ocean, and the west, that means that the salt gets in the air, makes it a little warmer, melts all the snow. And just like when you put salt out on the street, it kind of, you know, it, that, that's what you do when it snows if you don't want to slip and crap. But, um, yeah. The drought here will persist. Not a lot of precipitation in these areas. We'll get warm and dry in these zones right here. Um, warmer than average, but still snowy. Like I always say, in the northern Rockies, you're never going to stop the snow. It's just like, it's just something that's always been there, snow in the Rockies, you know. But dry and warm, but still snowing this zone. Uh, Colorado, uh, New Mexico, I always get those, Arizona, New Mexico. Uh, I think this is New Mexico, this one's Arizona. Utah, Kansas, Texas, Oklahoma, Nebraska, we got all these states in here. Then, uh, snowy with average temperatures, if you've got average temperatures in here, there's not going to be no rain. I mean, um, maybe here in Nebraska, but not in North and South Dakota. Montana, this is where that trough, again, is going to come through, so that's why it's going to be um, uh, just average temperatures, because a lot of the portions aren't going to be quite in the trough. Uh, very cold with extreme snow, and what I mean by extreme snow, there will be so much precipitation, and it will be like most of the time uh, below um, freezing. So uh, when it's below freezing and you're getting precipitation, well, a lot of snow. Um, but uh, right here we're gonna get uh, some snow, but mainly ice. Uh, I really am feeling ice storms this year. Last year, not that much. You know. There wasn't ice, but this year we're already seeing it, you know, with these ice storms. Um, in this zone, we're going to get some decent snows because of the mountains, especially here in the Appalachians, then the plains that are so far inland. The western side, we're uh, going up in altitude, but um, that's because you're in Kansas and stuff. Uh, but warm with severe weather in this zone. If there's going to be any severe weather, it'll definitely be here. Maybe... Uh, you know, outstanding areas, but, um, right here in the Gulf, we're gonna, Gulf and, uh, 
portions of um, Florida because on the eastern side of Florida is not considered the Gulf. But um, we're going to get all rain and warm. I really don't think that uh, the coastal zones here will see any snow. I mean, Florida, you could get a flurry, but it's very slim chance there. Um, cool with mostly rain in these zones. Uh, rain at ground level, so basically what I mean by that is in the mountains it's going to be snowy, but at ground level it will probably be mostly rain. Mixed events at uh, most, but uh, right here, uh, cold with more mixed storms, which means you're, it's going to be some all snow storms, there's going to be some all rain storms, and there's going to be some uh, just everything, you know, goes from rain to mixed to snow from snow to rain to mix, or from uh, snow to mix to rain, but cold and snowy right here, Pennsylvania, uh, New Jersey, New York, uh, a lot of these uh, New England states, but for the most part, New England, very cold and snowy right here in this tip of the zone, and that about covers it, but um, yeah, that's really what I'm thinking, um, and I kind of tried to cover this with some scientific uh, um, data, but um, basically what's going to be happening is we're going to be having some warm air come into the um, Ant or, uh, Arctic, the Arctic up here um, in uh, Canada and stuff, northern Canada, and what that does is that forces the cold air into uh, the United States, and we're going to have a trough in the east for a lot of the time, so that means that most of that cold air is going to dump into the east, and um, I'm really feeling the later portion of January, sadly, I don't think the beginning is going to be much action. action. It's going to mainly, you know, it's going to be uh, discouraging at times, but I think that really the snow is going to pick up uh, sometime in the later portions of um, January, early portions of February, and I think that's really where we're going to see the, you know, max south snowstorms. Uh, the northern portions are already getting the snow, but uh, here in the um, mid-Atlantic, southeast, and, um, yeah, those zones, uh, it's just a waiting game, you know, we're gonna see our snow, but it's just not coming yet, it's gonna be here, but it's just not yet, um, I live in the mid-Atlantic, and I've lived here my whole life, and, uh, it usually, you'll end up seeing the snow eventually, sometimes it's just like, ugh, just snow, but it does, it definitely does, but, um, yeah, thanks for watching, I'll see you guys later, um, right now we're dealing with the positive NAO, positive AO, and the negative PNA, but if we can get those to, um, you know, kind of switcheroo a bit and uh, turn into the more um, easterly, um, easterly, uh, I don't know, what, I don't know how to say it, but um, hopefully those will switch around so the east gets more of the cold, and uh, then at that point we'll uh, start seeing some snow. So just we're just gonna have to wait on that. Um, Thanks for watching. Leave a like. Comment on what you think. Uh, I don't like when people just dislike it and don't really let me know why, because I'd really like to know why. Um, you know, you, you post. You know, let me know your opinions. I don't want to just like be confused. You know. Um, but yeah. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye bye now.